Welcome back to another episode of the Great Enchant Table Race. This is episode 165, and we're in a new random hardcore seed for this challenge. And it looks, I don't know, fairly ordinary. Uh, let's punch a tree while we get started, and we'll talk a little bit about the challenge, which is to craft an enchanting table as quickly as possible, and also to enchant a book after that. So we're going to need some resources uh, let's just start with tools, and then we'll go look for the rest. Uh, we're going to try to get two books on the surface, and then underground we need some diamonds and lapis. Uh, maybe obsidian as well. We can get that on the surface sometimes. I think we're going to have to head down toward the water, maybe over that way actually, so we can look for sugar cane. Um, and I'm going to need some cows or something so I can get some leather. Uh, that way we can craft those books. Uh, let's make a crafting table and some sticks, and then we'll go look around and see if we can't find a little bit of exposed stone so that we can mine it for tools. I don't see any, actually. Is there like a little cave or something down here? There's got to be some stone. No? <laughs> Come on, there's got to be stone somewhere. Uh, okay, there's a little wolf pup down here. Uh, it looks like we are kind of slowly making our way. Hello, Wolfie, to the uh, water. I see water this way. This isn't the way I had intended to go, but uh, I still don't see any exposed stone. And I'm starting to think I should just dig in and try to mine some stone. Because this isn't really saving me much time. Oh, what's this? We've got, okay, we've got a lava pool. Up on the surface here, that's great because uh, we can use that to get obsidian later. Um, but we don't have all the resources that we need for that just at the moment. Uh, looking down the river here, I do see some sugar cane. Uh, but I still don't really see any stone exposed. So let's just dig in. Uh, well, let's just dig in right here, I guess. I don't want to go too far away from that lava pool. So I can kind of keep track of where it was. All right, there should be stone under this dirt here if I can get to it. For some reason, I already <laughs> I already feel like the challenge is going a little bit slower than I would like, but uh, here we go. Let's craft a wooden pickaxe, and then we'll pick up some of this stone and craft some tools. There we go. We got a little bit of stone now. If we're super lucky, we could maybe get some coal or some iron. No, just copper. <laughs> okay, we didn't really get lucky then. Uh, let's upgrade our pickaxe. And I think I have enough cobblestone to make an axe as well. And uh, let's just get a little bit more for furnaces. So maybe just under a half a stack or so will be plenty of stone. Yeah, it's all copper here, but there's no other ores present. And I, I didn't see any mobs up on the surface yet either. I'm a little bit concerned that finding cows may be difficult. Uh, but we'll move around. Uh, we'll cruise down the river, probably on a boat, to grab that sugar cane. And we'll see if we spot any surface structures or mobs that can help us out. All right, there we go. That's quite a bit of cobblestone, probably more than I needed actually. Let's make two furnaces and then it's time to move on. Um, it, oh, it looks like I need to grab some more wood as well. We'll craft a few sticks first and since I have my crafting table out, let's make a boat as well. Okay, back up we go. Uh, let's mine out some of these trees. We can stick with the birch wood, I guess. We started with it. Uh, may as well keep it going doesn't really matter what the wood type is, but it's a lot easier if we stick with the same type of wood just for inventory management. Okay, there we go. We got zebra wood coming in quick, and there's a couple more over here, and then I think we'll have plenty of tree, and then we'll head down the river. All right, one more tree, and I think we're good. Uh, one more log. There we go. And pick them up. Got it. Uh, let's go grab that sugar cane now. Yeah, that's that's more than enough wood. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no mobs. I don't see any. Okay, there's pigs across the river. 
Um, but let's just go grab this sugar cane real quick. I wouldn't mind seeing a couple of sheep either so that we could craft a bed. Okay, that's just two sugar cane. Let's grab uh, these ones over here. And I think I do see some sheep, so let's check that out. I know I left my boat behind, but uh, we'll go back for it in just a moment. I just want to grab three wool so we can craft a bed. And I think we're done here. It uh, looks like we left a white sheep behind, but I just wanted the wool for the bed, so uh, we'll leave the sheep. Okay, there's my boat back there. Uh, no easy way to get to it, though. I guess we'll just swim. Kind of inefficient and slow, but we'll get there. I'm still one sugar cane short. Uh, but I think if we just head down the river, uh, we'll find another one just ahead somewhere. Uh, okay, there's some sugar cane here and some chickens. Uh, I saw pigs across the river, but I'm really looking for cows. Cows are what I need to get the leather. Here, let's go across the river real quick where the pigs are. It looks like maybe there's a clearing on the other side of all this birch wood. And if that's the case, I do want to check that out because there could be maybe a village or a ruined portal, some kind of structure that's going to help us out. Uh, let's grab some pigs for food. We, we did get a little bit of mutton. Okay, there we go. We got cows. So we don't really have to mess with the pigs anymore. Um, although I do need two leather and we didn't get any from that cow. Uh, okay, there's another cow over here. And did we get the leather? Still no leather? <laughs> Outrageous. Uh, okay, well, let's continue looking for more cows then until we can get all the leather we need. Meanwhile, we can stock up on other sources of food. Yeah, it's a little disappointing, but it does happen. Not getting the uh, leather drops I need from... Okay, there we go. We got we got another cow. Another chance for leather. And still no leather? <laughs> What's going on here? The game's trolling me. All right, let's take out a couple more cows then. And okay, there we go. A piece of leather. And yes, we got three pieces of leather and a really good cave here. Let's see. It has coal in it. Let's go down there. I think we're now that we have the books done, we should definitely head down into a cave and this seems like a good one uh, okay let me through please I saw coal oh there's mobs <laughs> I want to put my furnaces down and cook a little bit of food okay there's a zombie down there let's wait for it to burn up and then we'll grab some of that coal I don't see any iron uh, okay there we go that the zombie kind of took care of itself. Yeah, there's plenty of coal, but it, a little bit, it, it looks a little bit inaccessible. Here, let's put a couple of furnaces down here, and we'll stick a different um, some food types in. Uh, I don't need to cook the mutton. Let's just do the uh, let's just do the pork and the beef. And I also want to do some crafting here. Uh, we can make a bed to sleep away the night if we need to. And let's go ahead and turn this uh, sugar cane and leather into a couple books. There we go. We can get three books. And now it's time to mine some coal so we can make torches for caving. And then we'll go have a look and see if we can get some lapis and some uh, diamonds. And that's all we really need from caves. We can come back up to the surface and look for that lava pool in order to get obsidian if we need to, if we can't find or make obsidian underground. Okay, that's a decent amount of coal. Let's craft some torches. And we should have some food coming in about now, uh, which I could really use. Here, let's eat the pork first. There we go. And it's going nighttime now. So it's we got to head into this cave, which means uh, let's craft the torches. I think we'll just go ahead and use all the coal on torches. That gives us exactly a stack. Uh, let's make a few sticks to replace what we used. And we're in good shape now. I like, I like, good things are happening. Uh, let's see. Okay, good food on the hot bar. We'll eat steak. Uh, we're done crafting for now until we can find some iron. And this cave is starting to look a little bit dark here. Let's light this area up just a little bit. 
Uh, okay, I can see why there's no mobs. We're going to have to head down there. Uh, meanwhile, they're just probably spawning in like crazy. So uh, let's get out of here. It's time to go underground. Uh, are you done? Uh, no, we can't wait for four more pork, so you're done. <laughs> get off my hot bar. Where's my other furnace? There it is. I almost left it behind. All right, here we go. Uh, what was that? Oh, that's a skeleton with an enchanted bow. <laughs> Um, is there a better way to get down here? I don't have a shield. Here, let's use, we're just going to mine straight down. And we're going to do that in this little cubby hole where we dug out the uh, coal. Uh, so let's just go straight down. We know there's a cave nearby. Um, but I want to stay safe while we get low enough to get diamonds and obsidian. I need iron first. Okay, I hear a bat. That's no surprise. I know there's cave down here. Okay, we just mined into a bit of iron here. Let's get some light so we can see what we're doing here. And we've got a nice little iron vein. Let's mine it up and then we'll smelt it, make a shield, and uh, try to find where this uh, connects to uh, the cave that we saw. Ooh, it's a lot of, that's a lot of iron. How many did we get? Okay, let's smelt it. We got nine pieces of iron. I uh, will smelt using wood because we used all our coal already. And there we go. Uh, I guess if we have time, we'll cook a little bit more food, but it seems like we're good for now. Let's get our crafting table ready and make a shield. Very good. Uh, equip it. And now we save up for a uh, iron pickaxe. Okay, let's craft one of those. And I do want a water bucket, but it's not absolutely essential that we get it right away. Uh, but I do want all this iron to cook, so we're going to wait for it anyway, which means we have time to craft. Okay, we got an empty bucket on the hotbar just waiting to be filled. And one more iron left. Do we have time for food? Probably not. Yeah, the iron's already done. So let's just mine up the furnaces. Maybe we got one one more piece of now we didn't get <laughs> we didn't get any more cooked food. Uh, that's fine. Okay, let's just uh, go straight down. We've been lucky so far. This might okay, we got redstone. I'm gonna do a little bit of a staircase in the direction that I think there's cave, and we'll see if we can find it. But now that we have an iron pickaxe, um, we need to get as low as possible. Uh, the only problem is I don't really want to skip the lapis if there's a chance we can find it. Okay, we're already down in the deep slate. So we're going to be getting close to a diamond level soon. Uh, this doesn't seem to be hooking back up with the cave. So maybe we just mine straight down. Oh, I lost my torch. You stay here. I'm going down. All right, it's nothing yet. Just digging through deep slate and tough blocks. No diamonds. Oh, okay, that's a spider. Uh, let's add some light here. And we'll see if we can locate this spider and see if it's a cave. Uh, is it low? I should check my Y level maybe. That that's a, sounds like more than one spider. Could it be a dungeon? Okay, we're at negative 35. That's definitely more than one spider. Uh, there's a zombie now as well. And I'm headed down, but it actually sounds like those mobs are a little bit up. Okay, there we go. We found a cave. And it looks decent, actually. Uh, we should run it. So here we go. Let's light it up. Okay, there was uh, some water back there. That's nice. And what have we got here? What are we dealing with? Okay, there's the spider. Um, I see 
uh, zombie as well. And maybe it is just uh, one spider after all. I don't see lapis and I don't see diamonds yet. All right, let's light this place up. Where did I come out actually? Okay, there's cave down there. Uh, I want to go up here and light this up. Okay, we've got gold. And oh, that's a creeper. <laughs> All right. Okay, there we go. We got a diamond. Uh, let's deal with this creeper away from where the diamond is. It just looks like one diamond, but uh, okay, there's a spider as well. And it looks like we took out the spider and maybe even just exposed another diamond right here. <laughs> so that's great. Uh, let's grab them and then see if we can get out of here. Oh, and there's lapis. Oh, and this is going to be enough diamonds. Okay. Okay, we're doing great now. We're back on track. We got the lapis done. We got the diamonds done. Now we just need obsidian. And we can get that on the surface if we need to. Here, let's mine this lapis. Uh, I don't see lava down here is the thing. So we might just head all the way back up. And I think we can just stack out the way we came down will be the fastest. Uh, even faster than trying to um, swim up this water. Plus there's going to be a bunch of mobs up there anyway. Uh, was that just one diamond? Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we're not going to go try to grab this water source. Where did we come in at? Okay, right here. And now we're headed back up to the surface. And uh, if we need to, we can sleep away the night. Uh, there is one thing I would like to do uh, before we go any further, and that's make a diamond pickaxe. If we need to mine, it'll be the fastest way. All right, do I have blocks? Okay, we, we'll, I'll use the... Uh, Cobbled a deep slate to stack back out. And uh, I'll get my bed ready on the hot bar and we'll sleep when we get close to the surface. Okay, so I just need to find that lava pool again for the obsidian and then we're done with the challenge. I never did find any good surface structures. No villages. Uh, let's see. No ruin portals. Maybe we can still find one. All right, this should lead us out. And it's nice and well lit here. Uh, okay, continue stacking, it looks like. Uh, why can't I place? Okay, there we go. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> oh, I placed a block above my head. I hate when I do that. That's not the first time I've done that. Okay, we're getting close. I see light. Probably torchlight, and it's still nighttime. Let's go ahead and sleep. All right, now we go look for the obsidian we need. Oh, that's a skeleton. Uh, I shouldn't be scared though. I got a shield. We, we can just like run right past that skeleton. He's shooting at me. <laughs> All right, let's outrun the skeleton by going up this way. Uh, can I? Okay, I need to jump off something. There we go. And I think this is the direction of the lava pool. So let's head back that way. And we should have to go across the river. Okay, let's grab uh, some water for to make lava. And put the boat on the hot bar. Let's see, which way do I need to go? Mm, I think it's this way. Yeah, I'm actually not. <laughs> I'm actually not entire. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I recognize this area. We got sugar cane here. Okay, let's head down the river this way then. And this should take us close to where I saw the lava. Yeah, it should be right around here somewhere. Let's put our boat in and see if we can. Okay, right here, right here. I recognize the. Uh, the uh, trees that are all burned down. Uh, perfect, we should get a really good time for this challenge. Let's start mining obsidian. I just need uh, four of these. And that's two. Looks like I just picked one up. We're almost there. Not the most interesting challenge ever, but we did get a good time.
I like when there's a lot of really good surface structures in a seed. Or interesting biomes. Uh, we didn't really get either of those this time. Pretty plain seed, actually. Uh, all right, I think I just mined four obsidian. Let's check. Oh, <laughs> okay, or five obsidian, apparently. Uh, let's craft a enchanting table. So one book, four obsidian, and two diamonds for that. And now we can enchant a book. And that'll take us to the end of the episode. I do want to have a look around real quick here, power one. Uh, so that's time on the challenge. We do have enough diamonds for... What do we want to make? We could make a pair of boots. I didn't make any armor, right? Yeah, let's make a pair of boots. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do much with the boots, but we can enchant them. We'll get some protection going. And let's put efficiency on our pick. Like so. And uh, now let's have a look around and see if there's anything else interesting in this seed. I'll take these with us. All right, where should we go? Which way should we head? Uh, I say we head down the river this way. We haven't explored yet, but it doesn't look like it goes very far. Let's see where this river goes. Okay, some more sheep there. Oh, <laughs> look at that. There's a ruined portal right here. Oh, that's amazing. It's, real, it's one of those really big portals, too. The tall ones, I love those. Um, and it's got some gold blocks. Let's see what kind of loot is in the chest. If I had found this earlier, this would have been great for getting obsidian. Uh, how do I get across this? Just jump? <laughs> uh, okay, no obsidian in the chest, but we would have got some iron there. And it looks like it's enough nuggets for um, a pretty decent amount of iron. Uh, some really nice gold helmets here that I don't need. And then, of course, there's a golden apple and a mending gold shovel. Yeah, these really tall um, uh, ruin portals are nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I would totally fix that up and make uh, this into our nether travel. Uh, is there anything else nearby that we can take a look at? I think not. Yeah, it just looks like a lot of forest. I don't see any possible villages or other structures nearby. Um, but that's fine. At least we found something. And that is going to do it for this episode of the great enchant table race. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.